so wishing you a good day in this lecture we will be dealing with ac series circuits as well as parallel circuits okay we will be dealing with problem numerical problems on ac series circuits as well as ac parallel circuits okay now ac parallel circuits will be dealt in a minimal level okay more concentration is given on ac series circuits okay now let me start with the lecture okay now coming to the first question in this lecture calculate the current and power factor and check whether the power factor is lagging or leading in the following cases of circuits having impedances as given below and it is fed from an AC supply of 200 volt also draw the phasor diagram in all the cases first one is that is equal to 15 plus j20 ohm second one is that is equal to 14 minus j14 ohm third one is that is equal to r plus j into hl minus hc where r is equal to 10 ohm hl is equal to 20 ohm and hc is equal to 10 ohm okay so let me do one by one okay so this problem can be divided with three parts given supply voltage is 200 volt first one is we will deal with 15 plus j20 second one is that is equal to 14 minus j14 third one we will deal with r plus j into hl minus hc where r is equal to 10 ohm hl is equal to 20 ohm and hc is equal to 10 ohm now again we will also deal with how, how to find the current and power factor and check whether this lagging or leading ok and we will draw the tracer diagram in each cases okay now let me start with the first one okay coming to the first problem coming to the first one okay coming to the first one first one is what is it is given us in the first one is it is given us is it is given us what is it is given us 15 plus j20 15 plus j 15 plus J 20 ohm. 15 plus J 20 ohm. Now, this is basically in the form of R plus J HL ohm. This is in the basically in the form of R plus J HL ohm. That means this is basically a RL series circuit. Okay. Now, if you are drawing the impedance triangle of this of this impedance, you will get resistance R is on horizontal axis and HL is on vertical axis. Now see, you will, you will get JHL. That means HL is leading R by an angle and it is. Now, this is this is combination of R and HL. Now, this is the angle phi. Okay. First step. First step is finding cos phi. What is cos phi? Cos phi is cos phi or power factor. You can read it as cos phi is R by Z. Now, from the tri from the impedance triangle, what is Z? Z is equal to root of R square plus HL square. We can so you can write it as R divided by root of R square plus HL square. HL square. Therefore, what is power factor? It is R. What is resistance? It is 15 divided by square root of 15 square. 15 square. Plus, what is HL? HL is 20. 15 square plus 20 square. So, the answer is 15 divided by root of 15 square plus 20 square. So, it is 0 0.6. It's coming to 0 0.6. Coming to 0 0.6. Okay. It is 0.6. Now, 
if you are drawing the phase diagram of this circuit voltage the supply voltage will be in phase with is it current will be in phase with resistance so what you can see if you are considering a point here and consider point p and or, or consider point q and rotating the vector in the counterclockwise rotating the phasor in the counterclockwise direction voltage comes first and current comes after that that means current is lagging voltage by an angle phi therefore the given power factor cos phi is equal to 0.6 is lagging power factor is lagging next step is find current what is current i current i is basically supply voltage divided by impedance okay voltage by impedance is current so what is the supply voltage supply voltage is given as 200 volt okay so it is 200 divided by 200 divided by what is impedance impedance is root of root of 15 square plus 20 square so what is the answer it comes to 200 divided by root of 15 square plus 20 square 200 divided by root of what is it 15 square plus 20 square so it is 8 amperes so we will get the current as 8 amperes ok that means voltage 220 volt is leading current by an angle points uh, by an angle uh, cos inverse point six. ok and the magnitude of the current is 8 ampere ok so that is the inference now coming to the second part of the question z is equal to 14 minus j 14 ohm second case of the question is z is equal to 14 minus j 14 ohm ok so this is equal to 14 minus j 14 ohm so this is in the form R minus J H C R minus J H C O. So this is basically a R C series circuit. R C series circuit. Now if you are drawing the imbalance triangle of the second of fourteen minus J fourteen, resistance will be on horizontal axis and H C will be at an angle minus ninety degree. Why there is minus ninety due to minus J? This is the impedance, is it? And this is the angle phi. Okay. Now, first step. Okay. So here I would go with a different method. Okay. First step, you need to find phi. How to find phi? If you are taking tan phi, what is tan phi? If you are taking tan phi from the triangle, tan phi is equal to vertical by horizontal. What is that? That is H C divided by R. What is H C? H C is 14 as well as R is 14. So it is 14 by 14. Answer is 1. Therefore, what is phi? Phi is tan inverse 1. Tan inverse 1 is 45. Tan inverse 1. It is 45 degree. It is 45 degree. Now, you got the angle as 45 degrees. So, you got phi. Now, what is cos phi? Cos phi is cos 45. It is point sin 0 sin 1. Okay. It is point seven zero seven. One. That is the power factor of the circuit. Power factor is point sin zero sin one. Now, to find whether it is lagging or leading, current will be in phase with resistance. Voltage will be in phase with impedance. Now, if you are considering a point Q and rotating the vector in counterclockwise direction, current comes first and voltage comes after phi degree. Therefore, current is leading voltage by an angle phi. Therefore, power factor cos phi is leading 
okay now let's just need to find the current i what is the current i current i is basically voltage divided by impedance okay here what is impedance impedance is you can take it take it as root of r square plus s a square so it is what is voltage supply voltage is 200 divided by impedance is is that is, is equal to 14 minus j14 and if you are taking the magnitude of magnitude of it it is root of 14 square plus 14 square okay what is it 200 divided by root of 14 square plus 14 square okay so it's coming to 200 like 200 divided by root of 14 square plus 14 square so answer is 10.1 amperes which is 10.1 okay so in the first two questions we are dealt with R series circuit as well as RC series circuit in R series circuit resistance is in series with an inductive reactance itself so r is equal to uh, so z is equal to r plus j itself resistance will be on horizontal axis and the inductive reactance itself will be on vertical axis now from here first y is equal to r by z okay now what is z z from the pythagoras theorem z is equal to root of r square plus h square r is given as well as h is given r is 15 ohm and h is 20 ohm so from there first y is 0.6 lagging now, how we are getting, uh, getting in that the power factor is lagging? Voltage is in phase with the impedance and current is in phase with the resistance R. R. Therefore, current is lagging voltage by an angle phi. Okay. Now, what is the current? I is equal to V by Z or voltage by impedance. So, it is 200 by root of 15 square plus 10, 20 square. That comes to 8 ampere. Now, coming to the second question. The second question is Z is given as 14 minus J14 ohm. So, that is equivalent to R minus J H C ohm. First of all, draw the impedance triangle. Uh, resistance will be on horizontal axis, and in capacitive reactance will be on vertical axis, pointing at an angle minus 90 degree. Pointing at an angle minus 90 degree. Why? That is minus J. Now, here I am uh, taking a different track. Now, if you are looking to a triangle, what is tan phi? Tan phi is Hc divided by R. Again, if you are looking to the impedance triangle, tan phi is Hc divided by R. Hc is 14 as well as r is also 14 therefore tan phi is 1 therefore phi is tan inverse 1 that comes to 45 degree now coming to what is cos phi cos phi is cos of 45 degree that is 0 0.707 now to check whether it is lagging or leading current is drawn in phase with resistance voltage is drawn in phase with impedance so from uh, so from the phase diagram we can see that current is leading voltage by an angle phi Therefore, power factor is leading. Power factor is leading. Now, what is the current? Current is voltage divided by impedance. Voltage divided by impedance. What is impedance? Impedance is root of R square plus H square. Okay. So, what is that? R and H are same. So, it is root of 14 square plus 14 square. So, our answer is 10.1 ampere. Okay. That is regarding the first two parts of the question. Now, coming to the third part. Coming to the third part of the question. R is given, uh, Z is given as, impedance is given as R plus J into HL minus HC. Okay. Impedance is given as, R is, is, Z is equal to R plus J into HL minus HC. Okay. That means, okay. Now, resistance is given as 10 ohm. Resistance is given as 10 ohm. HL is given as 20 ohm. HZ is given as 10 ohm. Okay. Now, what is HL minus HC? HL minus HC is 20 minus 10. So, it is 10 ohm. Plus 10 ohm. Therefore, we can write Z as Z is equal to R, that is 10 plus J 10 ohm. So, is equal to 10 plus J 10 ohm. 
okay y hcl minus hc is 10 therefore hcl is equal to 10 plus j10 now if you are drawing the immense triangle for the circuit resistance will be on horizontal axis that is r will be here hcl minus hc will be pointing at an angle 90 degree hcl minus hc is 10 now Resistance is also 10 ohm. And this is the impedance Z. And this is the angle phi. Okay. Now, again, I am uh, do, doing the same trick in the second part. What is tan phi? From here, what is tan phi? Tan phi is HL minus HZ divided by r what is it this 10 by this 10 by 10 so answer is 1 therefore what is phi this phi phi is tan inverse 1 so it becomes phi is equal to 45 degree so what is cos phi cos phi is cos 45 so answer is point cos 45 it becomes point sin zero seven. Zero point seven zero seven. Now voltage will be in phase with impedance. Current will be in phase with resistance. Now if you are considering a point Q and rotating the phase diagram in the counterclockwise direction, what happens? Voltage is coming first. Current is coming after voltage at phi uh, after voltage at an angle phi. Therefore power factor is lagging. Why? Current is lagging voltage by an angle phi. Therefore, power factor is lagging. So, phi is equal to 45 degree. Now, coming to current. What is current I? I is equal to V volt supply voltage divided by impedance. Supply voltage is 200. So, it is 200 divided by what is Z? From the impedance triangle, you will get Z as root of, root of 10 square plus 10 square root of 10 square plus 10 square. So, answer is 200 divided by root of 10 square plus 10 square. So, it is 14.14 ampere. means to 14.14 ampere. Okay. Okay. Now, explain the third part once more. Z is, uh, now see, Z is given as R plus J into HL minus HC. Resistance is given as 10 ohm. Inductive reactance is given as 20 ohm. Capacitive reactance is given as 10 ohm. Therefore, HL minus HC is 10 ohm. Therefore, what is the impedance Z? In rectangular form, it can be written as Z is equal to 10 plus J 10 ohm. Now, first step is drawing the impedance triangle. So, drawing the impedance triangle, Resistance will be on horizontal axis, HL minus HC will be on vertical axis and it is pointing at an angle plus 90 degree. Why? HL is greater than HC. Therefore, it will be pointing at an angle of plus 90 degree. Now, resistance is 10 ohm and HL minus HC is 10 ohm. Then, what is tan phi? Tan phi is horizontal by, oh uh, sorry, uh, tan phi is vertical by horizontal. So, what is vertical? 10 ohm by horizontal is 10 ohm, that is HL minus HC whole divided by R. 10 by 10 is 1. From there, we will get phi as 45 degree. Therefore, power factor is 0 0.707. Now, how to check whether it is lagging or leading? Voltage will be in phase with impedance Z. Current will be in phase with resistance R. Therefore, if you are, uh, therefore, therefore, what you can see from the phase diagram is, current is lagging voltage by an angle phi. Therefore, power factor is 0 0.707 lag. Now, how do you find the current I? Current I is basically voltage divided by impedance. What is voltage? Supply voltage is 200. So, it is 200 divided by impedance is from the impedance triangle. Z is root of 10 square plus 10 square. So, it is 200 divided by root of 10 square plus 10 square. It comes to 14.14 ampere. So, with that, I am ending with the first question in this video. Now, coming to the second question. A resistor of 50 ohm in parallel with a capacitor of 
40 microfarad. That means 50 ohm resistance is connected in parallel with a capacitor of 40 microfarad and that combination is connected in series with a pure inductor L of 30 milli Henry and it is supplied from a 100 volt 50 hertz supply. Calculate the total current and also the current in the capacitor. Draw the phasor diagram also. Okay. So that is a question regarding series parallel circuit. That means 50 ohm and 40 microfarad are in parallel and that combination is connected to a 30 milli Henry inductance. Okay. So first of all, let me draw the circuit. Resistance R is in parallel with the with capacitor Z. Okay. And that is connected in series with an impedance. Okay. The supply voltage is here. This is the supply voltage. Okay. So what is it? Resistor is 50 ohm. Resistor is 50 ohm. Now, capacitor is 40 microfarad. Capacitor is 40 microfarad. Index is 30 milli Henry. Index is 30 milli Henry. Index is 30 milli Henry. Now, what is given? Supply voltage is 100 volt 50 hertz. Supply voltage is 100 volt 50 hertz. 100 volt 50 hertz. What is asked? And to find the total current and current in the capacitor. To find the total current, that means what is I and what is the current to the capacitor? Let it be I. What is the current through the capacitor? I need to draw the phase diagram also. Okay. Now see, this is basically a question with resistance parallel with the capacitor in series with an inductor L. Okay. Now first case. Okay. So first case is you need to you need to convert capacitors capacitor and inductor into inductive reactants and capacitive reactants. Okay. So what is omega? First step is find omega. What is omega? Omega is 2 pi f. Okay. Frequency is 50. Pi is 3.14. Okay. Therefore, omega is what? 2 into 50 into 3.14. So it is 100 into 3.14. It is 314 radian per radians per second. Now, what is HC? Capacitor reactance HC is 1 by omega omega into C. What is it? Omega is 314. Capacitance is 40 microfarad. So, it is 1 divided by 1 divided by 314 into C. Where C is 40 microfarad. So, it is 1 divided by 314 into 40 microfarad. So it will be 79.62 ohms. Okay. So capacitive reactance is 79.62 ohms. Okay. So that is HC. Now coming to what is HL. HL is omega into L. What is that? That is 314 into L. What is inductance L? L is 30 milli Henry. So, it is 314 into 30 into 10 raised to minus 3. So, it is 9.42 ohm. 9.42 ohm. Okay. So, you got HC as well as HL. Now, see, if I look into the circuit, we can see that resistance and capacitance are in parallel. Resistance and capacitance are in parallel. Therefore, we can take 
this entire this one this parallel combination I am taking it as Z1 I'm taking the impedance as Z1 so what is Z1 Z1 is 50 ohm in parallel with minus JHC in parallel with minus J 79.62 okay 79.62 ohm so you can write it as R1 parallel R2 R1 parallel to R2 is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 so it is R1 50 R1 parallel is R1 into R2 so it is 50 into minus J 79.62 divided by R1 plus R2 what is that 50 minus J 79.62 okay now okay this is basically in the form R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 that is Z1 okay now how will you perform the calculation of Z1 now see it is 50 into minus J79.3 and if you are if you are doing the calculations in a uh, if you are doing the calculations you will get it like this uh, or or I, first of all I will convert it into polar form first so in the top one that is 50 into 79.62 50 into 79.62 it comes into 3981 so on the top we have 3981 at an angle what is minus j minus j is minus 90 degree divided by next one is r minus j c so if you are if you are converting this into polar form you will get it as if you are converting this into polar form, you will get as root of 50 square plus 79.62 square. That is at an angle tan inverse minus 79.62 by 50 by minus 79.62. Six two divided by divided by fifty. Okay. So if you are equating it, sorry, if you are finding the answer, it will be equal to three nine eight one. Then angle minus ninety degree divided by root of 50 square plus 79.62 square so it is 94.01 then angle then minus 79.62 divided by 50 this is an angle minus 57.87 minus 50 Seven point eight seven digit. Okay. So what is it? This is a this is uh so the magnitude becomes three nine eight one divided by ninety four point zero one. What is it? This is forty two point three four. Magnitude becomes forty two point three four. And angle becomes minus 90 minus minus 57.87. So angle is minus 32.13. Minus 32.13 degree. Okay, that much oh. Now, coming to Z2. Coming to Z2. What is Z2? Z2 is Etzel. Okay, so please we can write it as J 
H L. J means angle 90 degree. What is H L? 9.42. So you can write it as 9.42 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus 21 plus 22 plus 23 plus 24 plus 25 plus 26 plus 27 plus 28 plus 29 plus 30 plus 31 plus 32 plus 33 plus 34 plus 35 plus 36 plus 37 plus 38 plus 39 plus 40 plus 41 plus 42 plus 43 plus 44 plus 45 plus 46 plus 47 plus 48 plus 49 plus 50 plus 51 plus 52 plus 53 plus 54 plus 55 plus 56 plus 57 plus 58 plus 59 plus 60 plus 70 plus 71 plus 72 plus 73 plus 74 plus 75 plus 76 plus 77 plus 78 plus 79 plus 80 plus 81 plus 82 plus 83 plus 84 plus 85 plus 86 plus 87 plus 88 plus 89 plus 90 plus 91 plus 92 plus 93 plus 94 plus 95 plus 96 plus 97 plus 98 plus 99 plus 100 plus 101 plus 102 plus 103 plus 104 plus 105 plus 106 plus 107 plus 108 plus 109 plus 110 plus 111 plus 112 plus 113 plus 114 plus 115 plus 116 plus 117 plus 118 plus 119 plus 120 plus 121 plus 122 plus 123 plus 124 plus 125 plus 126 plus 127 plus 128 plus 129 plus 130 plus 131 plus 132 plus 133 plus 134 plus 135 plus 136 plus 137 plus 138 plus 139 plus 140 plus 141 plus 142 plus 143 plus 144 plus 145 plus 146 plus 147 plus 148 plus 149 plus 150 plus 151 plus 152 plus 153 plus 154 plus 155 plus 156 plus 157 plus 158 plus 159 plus 160 plus 170 plus 171 plus 172 plus 173 plus 174 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 
cos minus 32.13 then what is the other part of this 9.42 cos 90 cos 90 is 0 now coming to imaginary part plus j into 42.34 cos let me dump that part Divide it into two. Okay. Uh, plus J four J forty two point three four. J forty two point three four. Co sine minus thirty two point one three plus sin 90 is 1 so plus 9.42 so the final answer is equal to from here you will get the final answer as z z is equal to z1 plus z2 equal to z1 plus z2 so the answer is not first first, first term is 42.34 42.34 Point three four into cosine of minus thirty two point one three. What is it? It comes into thirty five point eight five. Thirty five point eight five. Now you add these two terms. That is forty two point three four. Forty two point three four sine into sine minus 32.13 plus 9.42 so answer is minus 13.1 so minus j 13.1 so this is the effective impedance of the circuit the effective impedance of the circuit is 35.85 minus J thirty one by minus J thirteen point one O. Now coming to the question back. Come to the question back. Okay. Calculate the total current and also current in the capacitor. Okay. Now first of all you need to draw the phase diagram. So from where will you draw the will you draw the entire phase diagram? You can start with imbalance triangle and from there proceed to phase diagram. Okay, let's so start from imbalance triangle and proceed to phasor diagram. Okay, now let me wrap the above part. Okay. Just wait for some time. Okay, now first of all, Z is given as 35.85 minus J 13.1 ohm. So this is in the form R minus J HC. So this is basically uh, of more capacitive effect. The circuit is uh, effective of more capacitive effect. So resistance will be on horizontal axis. That is, what is resistance? Circuit resistance will be equal to 35.85 ohm 35.85 ohm now come into this one so HC is 13.1 ohm so this is the imbalance effect this is the entire total power factor 5 that is the total power factor 5 of the circuit now by using Pythagoras theorem in the triangle you can write as z is equal to root of 35.85 square 35.85 square plus 
13 point 1 square what is the answer it is square root of 35.85 square plus 13.1 square so it is 38.161 38.161 and this is it. Now find the total current. How to find the total current I? I is equal to V supply voltage divided by Z. What is the supply voltage? Supply voltage is 100 volt. So it is 100 divided by 38.1. This is 38. 100 divided by 38.16. It comes to 2.61 ampere. So current is current taken by the entire circuit is 2.61. 62 ampere. Okay. So, current I is 2.62 ampere. Now, we need to find the current taken by the capacitor. Okay. So, what is current division rule? Current taken by the IC is main current into presence of other branch divided by total resistance. Okay. Or, in other way, you can calculate it. What is IC? What is IC is main current. That is I main current into what is the resistance of other branch? 50 ohm. Divided by total. What is the total? Total is 50 minus JHC. So, what is 50? 50 minus 50 minus J J into what is HC? HC is 79.62. For the time being, take only the magnitude of that. Okay. So, what is it? It is 50 into, uh, that is 2.62 into 2.62 into 50 whole divided by you take magnitude of this one, that is root of 50 square root of 50 square plus 79.2 it's 2 square. So, I am just rubbing the other path. Okay, I am just rubbing the other path. Okay. Okay. So, what is IC basically? It is 2.62 into 50 divided by root of 50 square plus 79.62 square. So, the answer will be 1.39 ampere. So, the current taken by the capacitor is 1.39 ampere. Okay. Now, next part is draw the entire phase diagram. How to draw the entire phase diagram? I have started with that from the impedance triangle. So, we have calculated this side. Okay. So, this is the voltage. So, this is half, uh, current will be in phase with resistance. So, this is the current I. Voltage will be in phase with impedance. So, that is the voltage V. So, what the thing is, we need to calculate phi. So, what is cos phi? Cos phi is basically R by Z. What is the resistance? It is 35.85. 5.85 ohm. Divided by what is Im what is impedance 38.16 this is 38.16 okay the answer is 35.85 divided by 38.16 it comes to 0.94 so the point 94 this is 0.94 now here you can see that current is leading voltage by an angle phi so for power factor is also DD. What the total power factor is? DD. Okay. So with that, I am ending with this. Uh, ending with this lecture. So in this lecture, we have dealt with two problems. One is uh, in the first one, we have three subparts: RS series, RC series, and RC series. The second question, we we have dealt with a parallel circuit and from that parallel circuit we have found out uh, what is HC, let's say all these things and we have found out the current of the capacitor, the total current taken by the circuit, everything. Okay. So, uh, so this is a, uh, so in this lecture, 
it was a uh, it was again a uh, uh, again dealt with two problems okay again uh, dealt with two problems which is uh, 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 which means that in the first problem we are dealing only with series arguments in the second problem here we have z1 and z2 z1 and z2 okay whereas z1 is a parallel circuit and z2 is is a 2 is a impedance and is a 1 and is a 2 are in series okay so with that we have completed with this lecture okay and if you like this video please share okay please subscribe the channel okay and finally thank you for your patient listening thank you